Okay, so here's how you set up the ad hoc network um, for the Fuji. Normally you'd go over here and go create network, but that would create an unsecured network which the Fuji won't connect to. So all you do is you come to your system preferences, you go to sharing, internet sharing, doesn't matter that you're not actually sharing the internet. Um, you can pretty much select any interface, it doesn't matter. I'd use Thunderbolt Bridge because it's not doing anything and we're not really transmitting anyway. We're not actually using to share the internet. Uh, I would say share over Wi-Fi because <coughs> that's going to set up your ad hoc connection. Under Wi-Fi options, I've called it Fuji Gate. I've given it some security level and I'm just making the password 11111111. Uh, what's it? 8 ones, eh? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, turn on internet sharing. Are you sure you wanna? Yep, yep. And you'll see the icon go blank <coughs> and then turn into a broadcast icon. See that's broadcasting now. So that is now being broadcast as FujiGate. Now I can't show you on the back of the Fuji because I don't have another camera, but I'll go and do a manual connection to the MacBook Pro. It'll come up published as FujiGate. I'll enter the password one 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 one. Um, and then once it's connected, uh, you can go back into the wireless settings on the Fuji and it'll give you the IP address, but it should be default anyway. So how you get it to connect is um, XAcquire by design goes and searches within the entire network segment um, if you're on network and not USB. So that would be your normal Wi-Fi router. So in South Africa, well, our local router is 10.0.0.0. Zero dot three or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So now you want to give it a specific address. The IP address from the Fuji should be 192.168.22. If it's not that, it'll be the IP address broadcast uh, published on the back of the Fuji screen. You just punch that in. And just to prove the point, uh, here's my tether folder. This is where I keep all of my stuff that's going to be sent off to Lightroom via watched folder because that's how I do my um, that's how I do my tether into Lightroom because I don't have the plugin so I just have a watched folder and as I shoot with the Fuji it comes in there. Okay, so just waiting. There we go. The Fuji's connected now. So here's the shutter going off, and we'll see how long it takes to get a full size JPEG across. Um, I sent only. Here we go, and there we go. It'll be coming through now. It's just the JPEG. I'm not going to bother testing with the raw. You guys can test with the raw. Okay, there you go. So I mean, six seconds or whatever to get to get my image across. That's it, guys. Hope it's been clear. I've been as clear as I can. If you still don't understand, let me know. Maybe I've made a mistake in the way I'm relaying this. But it works. You can tether to your MacBook Pro. Uh, without a wireless router, you just set up this ad hoc network by using internet connection sharing, even if you're not sharing the internet. Geba.